Turn your flat 2D image and remove the background. Change the workspace to 3D to ease the access to 3D tools. From 3D menu, select 3D Extrusion. Hit Create and Photoshop makes 3D model out of your 2D image. When you are happy with your object or model, you are ready to export it. To export your file, go to upper 3D drop-down menu and from there select Export 3D Layer. Di dimension supports OBG file format, so select Wavefront OBG file. And then you are ready to save. Select File Import to bring your 3D object to the Adobe Dimension. Now you can select materials for your object. You can use the magic wand tool to separate different areas of your object to add different materials or change the material properties on the, uh, of that area. Materials that have been used in the scene you can find from the right side of this workspace. You can change the material properties also here. Now you, now you can bring background to your image. With Adobe Dimension it's really easy to change backgrounds and test different kinds of scenes and moves that you can have with the different backgrounds. If the background image has a clear perspective, you can use the match image function to match your background image to your 3D object. When you're happy with your scene, you're ready to render. Select Render and choose the options you want. So here is my last image. I edited it a little bit in, inside the Photoshop, but anyway, you get the idea. Thanks for watching and see you on next one.